SR93 Boxing, I'm back with a quick video. Um, Errol Spence is saying, well, let me quote Errol Spence. He was trying to find a way out. First, he was looking for another title holder. He was looking for uh, to fight either Danny Garcia or Keith Thurman, but they're fighting each other, so he was looking for Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao wasn't interested, so he was looking to fight Amir Khan. Then that fight fell through, so I was his last option. There was nobody... Uh, at 154 for him to fight. Canelo already had a fight with some somebody, and the rest of the guys are with Al Heyman. He didn't really have, he didn't have any option but to fight me. That's so. That's where he went. See, um, yeah, Kelbrook. This is one. This is one of the things. Um, and I think he also went on to say something. Basically, trying to say that um, he is um, Kelbrook is trying to. He tried to avoid him at any cost, and people are giving him credit. At one point, he did mention that he fought Gennady Golovkin because of the payday. And he's getting too much credit for uh, fighting Errol Spence. And he, Errol Spence is basically trying to say that, look, he has no option but to fight me. My thoughts on it, I agree with him. I agree with him. Um, I think, look... I don't think Kelbrook was trying to fight a Danny Garcia or a Keith Thurman. He might fight one of them if uh, he might try and fight one of them if they get a unification bar because they'll be a big star, bigger star, right? With two titles, he will. Um, and even I doubt then Kelbrook uh, was looking to fight um, Amir Khan, Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, few other names, really big names, th names that he can get away with losing, hasn't got much to lose. You know, he's not going to take... Kelbrook hasn't really taken fights where he has a lot to lose. Apart from this Errol Spence fight. And he's talking shit. You know, the thing is like... I'm happy that he took the fight. But I'm not going to sit there and pretend like what Kelbrook said about... Oh, never duck the challenge in my life. Man, fuck you. Fuck you. Kelbrook's been ducking challenges all his life, man. And it's quite sad to see him lying like that, man. It's quite pathetic. But, you know, um, that's Kelbrook. The chocolate brownie. But you know, hey, especially, I'm not trying to trash Kelbrook. It's kind of funny, like, I kind of hate him for what he does. But at the same time, I actually think he's a really good fighter. I think he's one of the best fighters, not just at 147, but in boxing right now. Um, I think he could beat Errol Spence. Actually, I don't know. Like, I'm not predict. I don't want to make a prediction, like, a, my official, my official prediction. Because, you know, my, I like to think... That I would want to think a bit more about the advantage and disadvantage of Errol Spence and Kelbrook first and then. But from the top of my head, I feel like Kelbrook can win the fight. And I think he's very capable of doing that. You know, Errol Spence is sad poor. He has a right, uh, Kelbrook has a right hand. He moves better. He has a better jab. I, mean, I think Kelbrook might just win the fight. You know, I, I'm going to lean towards Kelbrook. And I think Errol Spence is a good fighter and I'll give him a lot of credit for beating Errol Spence. You know, so yeah, that's really it, man. But I'm just trying to say uh, that Errol Spence is right when he says that Kel Kelbrook's getting too much credit. And Kelbrook has no other option but to fight Errol Spence. And you, if you remember, Kelbrook was talking about, uh, um, I can't wake up, for, you know, I, I don't seem to be able to wake up for fucking, uh, was it? The Errol Spence fight, you know. But he was able to, and he was trying to refer Spence as this, no name guy. Oh, I think he referred to him as the Spence character or Spencer. I think he referred to him as Spencer as well. Now, which is weird because he ref he called him Spence before and now he's calling him Spencer. He clearly knows who, who he is. I mean, he knows Frankie Gavin's name, Kevin Busy's name, Jojo Dan's name. And, you know, he had no problem waking up for those fights after winning a title against Sean Porter. You know, he goes, beat Sean Porter, who's a, you know, a big, who's a, he's a name in boxing, you know, he's not the biggest name or nothing, but he's a name in boxing, he's, you know, respected and known. But, you know, you got, um, you know, he was still able to wake up for them, he can't wake up for Errol Spence. It, you know, that's proof that Kelbrook's full of shit, he was talking shit, he, he's capable of beating these guys, but it's like he doesn't want to take the risk. Or maybe, like, you know, I, that's what I believe because I think Kelbrook's very capable of beating pretty much every world away out there. He could, he might, he might end up being. I'm not saying he is the best. He might end up being the best. But at the end of the day, if I say he's the best, that's speculation. We need to see it. I'm SR93 boxing. I'm out.